meiosis one, we're going from one diploid cell to two haploid cells. And the amazing thing that I'm going to tell you is this. In meiosis one, the stages are exactly the same as the stages of mitosis. This is good, bad. I think it's awesome because it makes it, for me, my brain goes, oh, that's easy. I don't have to memorize new things. But there are some distinctive differences, so maybe it will be confusing for you. Don't let it be confusing. Go study mitosis until you're comfortable. So we have prophase one. Now, if you call prophase one prophase, <laughs> You're talking about mitosis, and you will get questions incorrect. If you call meiosis flat out prophase, whatever I just said, you know what I mean. It has to be prophase one. It's not prophase two. It's not prophase 12. It's prophase one. So what do you think the next stage is? Metaphase one. Anaphase one. And telophase. One. Those are all part of meiosis one. And I'm going to mark only the differences, only the things that make meiosis different from mitosis. Everything else you can assume is the same. For example, start listing off some things that happen in prophase of mitosis. Chromosomes condense. Happens in meiosis as well. Um, Nuclear envelope disappears. Totally happens in mitosis, meiosis as well. Centrosomes arrive. Totally happens in mitosis as well. So I'm going to make a list of only the things that happen uniquely in, pro, in prophase one of meiosis one. First of all, unique. Homologous chromosomes hook up. Homologous chromosomes hook up in mitosis. All we did is we had our homologs, and they just like whatever, they hung out totally separately. In meiosis, my homologs literally hook up. They're like, dude, how's it going, my homolog? The homologs in the house. Ho, 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 ho. And they, they hang out together. They, there's no other way to say it. They hook up. Guess what else they do? You're not going to believe this. This is so cool. It's called crossing over, but they swap parts. True story. I, I ain't making this stuff up. Look, this these homologs swap equal parts. They don't swap like, here, I'll give you the eye color gene. If you give me the skin color gene, no, 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 no. They don't even, like, they're not even going to talk about that. Anybody who does that is going to die. So you know what? Anybody who does that is going to be eliminated from the gene pool real fast. So they swap equal parts. Hey, I've got the blue eye color gene over here, but I see you have the brown eye color gene. I, I'd like to try the brown eye color gene. Want to swap? And then they switch pieces of DNA. And all the genes that are in that piece of DNA switch. Now, if I were to switch, like, I would not trade an arm for a leg. I would trade an arm for an arm, but I'll totally go for somebody's buff, like humongous, even though, I mean, that's humongous and buff, but I, I'd be cool with having a little bit bigger of a bicep, so I'll trade somebody's arm for a bigger bicep. That's awesome. And I still have an arm, so I'm, I'm totally cool, right? Makes complete sense. Crossing over. How cool is that? Let's see. What else happens? Um, the homologs in metaphase one, it's the homologs that line up on the metaphase plate. So homologs line up on metaphase plate. Again, 
My sisters lined up last time, but now my homologs are going to line up together. So where metaphase, I mean mitosis, seriously, in mitosis they lined up, this is meiosis, but in mitosis they lined up like this, They lined up in a line like this. But in meiosis, they line up like, like this. So my homologs are lined up on the metaphase plate. Talk to me, dog pounds. What do you think is going to happen next? Who splits? It's different. The homologs split. In mitosis, my sisters split. But in meiosis one, my homologs split apart. Can you visualize how if I split homologs, here's a centromere and here's a centromere, and I literally divide the total number of centromeres in half. That is why meiosis one results in um, two haploid nuclei. Now, um, there's something else I was going to say about the homologs split. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Sometimes after meiosis one, we return to like a interphase type state before going into meiosis two. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we don't even go through cytokinesis. Sometimes the nuclei just um, go through meiosis again, and then we end up with cytokinesis. So there's lots of different ways to do this. The bottom line is that now, let's just for ease, let's say we've got two haploid nuclei, and let's go through cytokinesis. And the cytokinesis, here we are. We've got two new cells, and they're haploid. These two cells are both going to go through meiosis two. 